Hey guys, uh, we're about to start round three here. Um, something else that I want to mention just before we get into this round is that I'm probably going to be making a uh, Return to Ravnica Limited Primer. Something along the lines of like what to do in draft, what to do in sealed. I've analyzed the set a little bit, like a decent amount. Um, have some general ideas about it. I haven't played with it at all, whereas M13 I had at least like got an idea of it. I had talked to some people who had played about it, so like I had a good idea of like my pick order and things like that. Return to Ravnica, I have like an idea of like what my top three picks are, but after that I'm pretty like out in the open. Um, um I do have an idea about the guilds, but in any case I'm gonna be making a limited primer for the MTG noob. So I just wanted to tell you guys to check it out. Um, in the coming days. So we won the die roll, we would like to play first. Uh, this hand is very, very blah. Um, very slow, it has a removal spell, and it has blade plus four. This is alright. I'm gonna play. This hand seems really weak. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Um, seems really terrible, actually. Uh, this hand is better. As long as we draw one land, we'll definitely be okay. Um, I mean, that's a big if, but we'll see what we can do. We have the ring, we have Centaur Corsair, which is a very solid 3-drop, obviously. And um, we'll see what we can do with this. Um, our opponent might be checking out our other games. Maybe I'll go check out some of his. Oh, whoa. Hello. What is this? Okay, so for some reason my magic just died, so let me pause while I get back. Hey guys, here we are again. Um, making sure my audio is still working. I lost connection. It seems like... Hello. Um, we lost connection. We're just waiting for our, our opponent to come back. So yeah, I um, make sure to check for my limited primer draft and sealed sort of like I'm gonna go over some cards that I think are like obviously very good um, some cards you I need to check also our opponent less lost connection to the game too um, I generally need to like play with the cards a little bit like I can tell generally like when a card's gonna be bad like um, or like a guild just from its colors like I don't think it's a secret by now that I I think most people think that is it is by far the worst guild um, I don't even think it's close, um, but uh, the bad cards I generally have a little bit tougher time assessing, especially in a set like this that's very different from other sets. Our opponent came back. Um, like this set is very much slower, so like your normal card evaluations are not going to be as accurate. In any case, we do draw Arbor Elf, which we're going to play out because we're not guaranteed a land next turn, so we're going to play that out instead of playing out the ring. Our opponent's gonna sack for a island and pass it back to us. He's gonna play a walking corpse. Not a big deal. Hopefully we draw land. That's not land, unfortunately. We will untap and play out the central closer. Pass the turn uh, and then pass the turn back. There's a Servant of Nephrox, and there's the Beats, we will take that damage, it's not like we can really do much, and we will pass it back, he'll pass it back, here we're just going to play out the Force Mage onto our Corsair, get him for 5 damage, because I think he'll probably trade, I don't know what it's, what's in his hand though. And then hopefully we can draw another ma another mountain, preferably, but another land, get out late to four. We can also start getting out rings and stuff like that, which would be really awesome.
Let's see what he chooses to do. He looks like he's going into the think tank. Um, here comes the walking corpse. We cannot block favorably, so we're obviously just going to let that one through. He's going to play a Liliana Shade. So right now we would really like to draw one of our mountains. So that way we can kill that thing before he can pump it up too much. Um, in any case, we will draw Primadox, which is not going to help us at all. Um, here I think we got to swing in with... I think we can swing in with the Corsair and the Force Mage and then play out the ring afterwards. I'm not sure he'll trade. I don't think he will, but we're in trouble in any case. Because we haven't drawn lands. Hmm. We can't play defense. That shade is going to be a 6-6. Six, six. If we leave back... If we just swing in with Centaur Corsair, will he trade? Most likely, I would trade if I were him. Um, do you want to equip up the Force Mage? We could actually just play the ring out on the Force Mage. That doesn't seem very good. Um, because if we play it on the Corsair, he's definitely going to block. Uh, actually, yeah, he would just definitely block to prevent it from growing next turn. Um, hmm. And we want to grow, want to grow our force mage as much as possible, um, as fast as possible. And next turn, if we draw a land, we can't re-equip it because we would play out one of our four drops, most likely the blade test board. So, I think the right play here is to just swing in with Corsair, and that's going to get us an extra 2 damage. How much is that going to put us behind on the Force Mage damage, though? That's going to put us behind at least 3 damage next turn if he doesn't play out another guy, because Walking Corpse can just block it. I think here we want to swing in with the Corsair and the Force Mage. Let that go through. I'm expecting a block. Uh, that is indeed what he chose to do. And then we're just going to play out the ring. Then re equip that to the force mage. Hopefully, we can hit that mountain. At least we can geyser for two. Which would be nice. But we're still in trouble here. I mean, we needed to draw lands. I mean, that's what it comes down to, and we haven't, so we're looking to be in trouble. We can still stabilize, though. He's going to bash him for a lot here, I'd imagine at least 4 damage. He's probably thinking about what he wants to play out. play out ring. Oh, that's a pain. So a ring of Xanthrid on the Liliana Shade. That makes sense. Um, here comes two damage. Or three. Um, if you want to lead back your guy. And if we draw a land, we might be able to race it. Since we have Geyser, here comes the beats. I'd imagine this is not going to be a pump. I don't know why you would equip up Ring and then not. I mean, and then 
pump. And you probably want to just leave up regenerate mana. Like those two islands are gonna go pretty far. So just regenerate your ring, your ringed up creature. Yep. I'm just gonna do that. And we are just going to draw land. Because uh, we're good. Yeah? No. That's unfortunate. Um. Yeah, I think here, I think if we just bash in for four, probably our best bet. Five. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Leaving back Arbor Elf doesn't really do very much. It's probably just gonna pump up next turn. Yeah, I think we just gotta swing in here with both guys. We're not doing much with no mana, unfortunately. We're probably gonna have to leave back that Arbor Elf to chump block eventually. Might as well get in the damage now. And this Yavis Force Mage might be able to go far. Ish. I think against this deck we also want to bring in Naturalize because he might be playing a Mark of the Vampire, which is definitely worth um, naturalizing. And then Ring. Like basically, if you have two targets that I can naturalize, I'll generally bring in Naturalize, especially over Cleaver Riot, which is not a very good card to begin with. Sorry about that. So he's going to bash him for three, probably going to pump up twice. Yep. Take five? Oh, only once. We're going to re-equip the ring there, and then pass it back. Uh, we draw a beast tracker, it's not going to do very much. Um, it's going to chump block, actually. Uh, so if we swing in here with a Four, four. He's gonna double block, and then just. He's probably just gonna double block regenerate. Um, he's not gonna do it very good. Um, if we play out. We do two damage. I think here we can force him. I think I'm okay with that. Even still. Yeah, the double block. Okay. We'll put this one first. And here comes the regenerate. I mean, we're still screwed anyway. We're not in a good position. Uh, and at least this way, if we draw a land where, like, we could possibly when the Arbor Elf is going to have to chump block. Uh, we'll swing for 5 and do not enough damage, but what are you going to do? Just checking my audio really quick. Not sure what he's thinking about. The elbow up is just going to have to chump log. The good thing is he's only seen five cards out of our deck. So um, he's probably checking the other rounds. Or might check the other rounds. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing right now. Can't imagine what you would be thinking about in this scenario. It seems like a pretty easy swing in and deal a ton of damage. We're gonna swing in with just Knight. Um, sure. I mean, if he has, uh, what's it called? Essence Strain, then he has Essence Strain. We're pretty, we're in pretty bad shape now anyway. Gonna re-equip there. We got the Chronomaton, so we can bump that up to a 5-5 five, five and regenerate it. 
just how big we're gonna be. Uh, Goblin Arsonist is a thing. Uh, yeah, I'll just play with the Goblin Arsonist. Don't see why not. Then we're just gonna have to block, block, I think. Uh, hope that does something. I mean, he can't swing it with knight actually, because we can just block it there. He's gonna swing it with shade, and then we can block goblin arse and shoot him, and then swing back. That might work. Well, we're still sorta of in this game. But we're not completely dead. We do still have the beast tracker to chump block. We're not gonna grab anything with that beast tracker though. Because we need to draw land. Um we still do have 15 of them. wonder what he's thinking about doing right now. I'll try to stall out. And just hope that he draws something else. Or he can just like continually grow his guy that's ringed up. Yeah, that looks like what he's gonna do. Okay. Uh, we do draw land, which is nice. So now we can play out the Blade Tusk 4. And try to start getting in some damage that way. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, cancel. Cancel. I hate, I hate the way Arbor Elf works online. Um, let's play out the Blade Tusk 4. Pass it right back. Yep, yeah, we're gonna grow Chronomaton, as you would figure. And we'll see what else he does. Right now. Hmm. We're gonna have to swing in with that shade eventually, basically. Is what we need to hope for. We can also swing in with Blade Tusk for next turn. Hope that he doesn't block. Try to do something with that. Not sure though. That shade is going to be pumped up to a 10 10 though, which is a pain. That is a pain. Oh, nope, servant. Let's see what this is. I wonder if he's going to swing in with the knight? It's a 5 though, it's not going to get you anywhere. Good swing with Kronomaton. It's not going to get him very far either. I'm going to re-equip there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm just going to let that go. Alright. Uh, we draw Sentinel Spider. Not going to do much for us. Um, if we swing with Blade Test Boar, we can hopefully make him try to block or something like that, and then we can play out the beast tracker, start chumping, hope they doesn't have a removal spell, swing in with the blade test boar, scare him into thinking that we just drew land and Chandra's Fury, land Chandra's Fury would be really nice, um, yeah, I mean, our blade test boar wasn't going to get past that chronomaton anyway, so that's fine, in any case, we'll just play out our beast tracker, not searching out anything. Okay. So that Knight of Infamy is gonna grow again. We are going to be in trouble. Um hmm. Hmm <laughs> Ah, oh, there you go, SM string. Okay. So he just drew that out, but I mean, we drew out that game pretty well. In any case, we're gonna bring in the naturalize like it's nobody's business. Um, take out that cleaver riot. It seems terrible. And hopefully, we can just draw lands because I mean, that's all that game was. 
We drew three lands in about, like, nine turns. Um, I mean, we drew one land in about nine turns. Just sad. But hopefully we can do that. Uh for do better the next game. I'm just going to pause really quickly. Alright, so, um, sorry about that. I just had to answer something. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to submit the way we are. Uh, and hope that that gets us someplace. Um, hopefully that naturalize will do, do us some good. Uh, we would like to play first, and we would like to mulligan this hand. This hand is not good at all, but I don't think I want to mull down to five. Um, we just need to draw creatures. Um, he has Evolving Wilds again, which is okay. We will play out our mountain, pass the turn right back. Oh, we should have played at the ring. I'm playing way too fast. That was really dumb. That was really silly of me. Playing way too fast. Probably upset that um, we are not drawing creatures. In any case, we'll just play out the ring. And his ring is going to be a problem. We got to play Harbor Bandit. That's that's a pain in the butt. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to burn that out, and we're just drawing land. So I think this game is probably over, considering what we're looking at. I'd expect the equip here. Yep. And bash him for three. And make us look really bad. Sounds about right. Draw Arbor Elf. Not going to do us much good. Unfortunately. We will equip up. And pass the turn right back, because unfortunately we are not drawing enough spells to keep us afloat. I mean, enough creatures to keep us afloat. I mean, the Harbor Band is just going to beat us down. Yep. It's going to deal 5, we're going to drop down to 12, and it's not looking good for our hero. Uh, we draw Sentinel Spider, which is actually not terrible, but here, bash him for two, I think is actually fine. I'm not going to block, as you would kind of expect, and then we're going to play out our Sentinel Spider. Pass the turn back. Yep. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's much we can do about that. Um, we have seven, eleven. Even if he doesn't block, eleven, like not enough. Yeah, we're pretty much just dead here. That ring is going to kill us. We can try to make him regenerate in response to the trigger. I think it's actually our only hope. Um, we make him regenerate in response to the trigger. Um, he's going to become a 6-6, but then at least we can swing in here. I think that's fine, actually. We just got to do that. And he's just going to let that through, as you would expect. And then now, seven, yeah. So that's going to trigger, and we're going to have to kill it in response. Or try to kill it in response. Okay. And we may have enough to kill him next turn. Uh, doubtful. But, um, I don't think there's a card that deals with that 6 6 right now in our deck. He's just got a chump block here. 
one would imagine. Is there something? I don't think there's a card in my deck that chump block. That can chump block or like really deal with that card right now. Hope that he doesn't block. This is our only shot right now, and I'd imagine that he would. Can't really imagine him not blocking here. Uh, so Glass Fight is not going to do it. I think we just swing in. Gotta bash in. Maybe he'll block here, silly, and do something like that. No, he's gonna downplay anyway. Yep, and that's gonna be game. So, uh, unfortunately, we lost in the finals. But, I mean, we didn't draw well in either of those games. I think our deck was still pretty good. We had double Flint of 4, we didn't draw either of those. So, what can you do? Uh, in any case, that was the draft, and I hope to hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to look out for my limited primer and check out all the other great videos on the MTG Noob. I'll see you guys next time.